Life change for Lady Edith Crawley is announced as the family take an afternoon stroll. <laughs> is it working out? Henry and Mary living at Downton? As far as I can tell. Now I'm just a poor man being supported by a rich wife, and that's not what I want for you. I'm so in love with you, you know. This is your moment, and well done to you. Hey, goodbyes. There seems to be so many of them these days. No one could pray for your good fortune more heartily than I. We are very grateful to you, Carson. What can I do? I can hardly push my way past the servants and run upstairs to his bedroom. I don't see why not. Larry, as my son, I love you, but I've tried and failed to like you. Carson! <laughs> Lady Rose, how very nice to see you. <laughs> Anna! Oh, look at you! Pa just resents the hours we spend at the hospital. Hours I'm not spending on him. <laughs> It should be. It's a hairdryer for Lady Mary. Daisy's come to talk to you, not me. He's nice. You could do worse. I could do a lot better and all. Edith sends love. She's gone to London. Not to see Bertie, I assume. I've never had a proper chance to say thank you for rescuing me. Glad to do it. I answer the pump. Denka has told me all about your column. We never know what's coming, of course. Who does? But I'd say we have a good chance.